All right, so here we are, day one, ICAST 2023, Orlando, Florida. I got Brian Farrell from Jim Lux. We do a lot of stuff together with them in our Sailfish series. And first year here at ICAST, right? Yeah, this is our first show. Yeah, I was excited to be here. So Jim Lux, leading manufacturer of a lot of things that you may know about, some things you may not know about, marine hardware, cleats, deck hatches, things like that. But also outriggers, carbon fiber, inline, outrigger top mounts, you name it, they make it top notch, best stuff in the industry. If you don't know about them, you're gonna learn a little bit about it in this video. So yeah, Brian, thanks, Jamie. I know you got a handful of products that we're gonna talk about here in the show, so. Yeah, got? absolutely. So we're showing a few new products here this week. Uh, one of them is the Sea Sucker Flatline Clip. Uh, what's cool about this is you can take it and put it anywhere on the boat that's a flat surface. Um, it just serves as a little release clip to keep your flat lines down close to the water. If you're done with them at the end of the day, you can just take and store them. Um, it's not a permanent attachment. And so transom of the boat, side of the boat, yeah. if they're drifting off the side of the boat, they can use that easily Absolutely. for flat lines. Yeah, the, the nice thing about it is you can move it around. And we're in the middle of our meat fish season right now, so a lot of the guys sometimes will slow troll, some will drift off the side. And so they, I think the versatility of that is, is awesome. Yeah, this, this thing's really easy to use. You just put it on a flat surface, pump the vacuum up, and it's ready to go. Okay. Um, so super simple. Perfect. Another one is the uh, Sea Sucker Cam Cleat. Same idea, but this allows you to move your halyards all over the boat. Um, so if you want to put your it out underneath the hard top for your outriggers, yeah, if you want to put it under the gunnel, you can do that. So I have those on my 39 CV. Absolutely love it. And I've found for, depending upon whether we might be fishing kites out of the riggers or might be trolling, that I might place those a little bit differently on the boat. So again, the yeah. versatility is super Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. You know, if you get a fish on and you need to clear everything, you can keep it up out of the way and get around the boat. Perfect. Okay. What else we got? Uh, if we want to move over here, these are just some samples of all the different carbon fiber poles and accessories that we make. One of the new ones is this 11 foot dredge boom. This is actually a fixed dredge boom that you can take apart and store. Um, and what this does is it gets you even further out into clean water. You know, when you're pulling your dredges on the center console, now with four and five motors, that white water gets bigger and bigger, and this just gets that bait way out there. Well, and you know, you guys sponsor our Quest for the Crest Sailfish series, and we have a lot of big boats to fish the event, but we also have plenty of center consoles. For sure. And, you know, dredge fishing, whether it's strip teasers or whatever the case may be, obviously heavier dredges as well, depending upon what they're doing, is certainly a part of the game, so. Yeah, absolutely. So this, this extends how far? It's 11 feet. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then there's a little joint in the middle where you can take it apart to store it. Because um, cool. 11 foot's kind of big to fit in the fish box. So while, while we're on the subject of sail fishing, bill fishing, quest for the crest, talk about this guy, because you got my attention with this. Yeah. Camera guys, listen up. <laughs> this is a GoPro, um, we call it a tournament camera boom. And what this allows you to do is get down into the water. It's very lightweight. You can get this thing down into the water and get that fish ID picture, um, confirm the catch. Um, Every boat in these tournaments has a few of these sitting around. Um, this one's just lightweight. It floats even with the GoPro on it. Um, floats. So it's been super, super. So you don't popular. have to worry about losing a couple hundred dollar stick and a three hundred dollar camera down to the bottom yeah, of the ocean. Yeah, even got a little lanyard on it if you want to wrap your wrist. Um, yeah, this has been very successful for us. Okay. And last but not least, you talked a little bit about this bad guy. Yeah, this is a pretty this bad cool boy. You know, so. With this, this is super cool what you were sharing with me about this. Yeah, so the abilities with carbon fiber are endless. You can do pretty much anything with it and it's super strong and durable. Um, but this is a ultra lightweight carbon fiber umbrella that you can run upwards of 60 miles an hour with it in the rod holder and it will not come out. 60? 60. We got pictures of it going 60. Yeah. That's impressive. Um, this adapter allows it to lock into the rod holder so it's not gonna fly out on you. Um, All right, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Listen up. The man just said a carbon fiber um umbrella for shade, 60 miles an hour, no problem. So, drop a comment below if you'd like to see a future Jim Lux video on my boat or another boat where we test this thing out at 60 miles an hour. All right, drop a comment below. Let's do it, let's do it. So, as always, uh, we appreciate the relationship with you guys. 
the products are top notch. Uh, they're here at the show. If you're planning to come uh, come by the show, stop in. Booth number is 3513. 3513. Yep. Um, and if they want to find you guys online in terms of looking at new products, they happen to be in market for outriggers, top mounts, or whatever the case may be. Website is website jimlux.com. Facebook and Instagram is jimlux fishing. Perfect. Look us up, follow us, all of our new product releases will be right there. All right, so uh, we're just getting started here at ICAST 2023. More exciting new product showcases to come. See you for the next Fish Blue Water video.